Although she graced the cover of this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, Barbie isn't as popular as she used to be, and partially because of her bikini body. Hi, I'm Kristen Conger of Stuff Mom Never Told You in today for D News. So there's a so-called new Barbie on the block named Lamely, and unlike Barbie, she features the proportions of the average 19-year-old American girl. Lamely gets her name from Nick Lay Lamb, the artist who designed her, and she's the product of his quest to create a normal Barbie, hence the tagline, average is beautiful. Now one reason Lamely might be getting so much attention is that Barbie sales have dropped in recent years as other doll lines, including Bratz, Disney Princess, and American Girl have become more popular. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, Barbie remains the best-selling doll on the planet with more than 1 billion sold since she first debuted at the 1959 New York Toy Fair. But the question the average is beautiful Lamely raises isn't so much whether a crowdsourced competitor can knock Barbie from her throne, but whether dolls have real-world effects on how little girls see themselves in the mirror. Research indicates that older girls are aware that Barbie, who would have a 16-inch waist and 32-inch bust in real life, doesn't represent the average female body. And for the record, Mattel designers have long noted that Barbie's iconic curves were initially designed to make the fashion doll easier to dress and undress, not to model what women should look like. Nonetheless, there's evidence that younger girls might be more impressionable to her slim silhouette. A 2006 study on whether Barbie breeds body dissatisfaction among girls five to eight years old found that among the youngest girls in particular, those exposed to Barbies reported lower self-esteem and greater desire for a thinner body shape. Now more recently, a 2014 study published in the journal Body Image found that preschool-aged girls assigned positive attributes most often to thin Barbie dolls compared to larger frame dolls. But assuming that Barbie is the sole influencer of how girls judge their own bodies and form biases towards thinner frames would also be erroneous, child psychologists told Time Magazine in a February 2014 article exploring these possible relationships between Barbie dolls and body image. Messages girls receive about their bodies and female beauty standards from their parents, peers, and the media are profoundly influential as well. So while Barbie might not be helping matters, she probably isn't carrying the weight of female body insecurities on her proportionally frail shoulders. In fact, if Barbie were human, she wouldn't even be able to stand up straight at all. But what do you think? Can dolls change how girls see themselves for better or worse? Leave a comment below and be sure to check out my show at youtube.com slash stuff mom never told you.